Hello friends and welcome back to Anita This and That. If you are confused with how to take care of yourself after post-surgery, today's video is about how do you get dressed after post-surgery and how do you take this sling on and off? How do you get a comfortable night's rest in your bed or either in a recliner? Stay tuned and I'm going to teach you every little tip that I know that helped me. When you sleep in the bed and you try to lay flat, it put a lot of pressure on your arm and your shoulder and you do not want that because that will cause you to be very uncomfortable. Use an ice pack. An ice pack is your friend. It's gonna be your best friend. Make sure to wrap your ice pack in a towel. You do not want it to be too cold. And please do not leave your ice pack on for too long if it's too direct to the skin at least about 15, 20 minutes at a time would be okay. If you have the funds, I would say go out and invest in an ice machine. I have heard great reviews on them. I did not get one, but I do wish I would have brought two ice packs because one ice pack sometimes is not ready when I need for it to be ready. So I would suggest before your surgery, at least get two ice packs if you're gonna do ice packs. Always, and I mean always, wear your sling to bed. I know it might not be the most comfortable thing, but wear your sling to bed. This helps with the pressure and the tension on your shoulder. It also helps from moving into a position that is uncomfortable, and it helps you from putting yourself in a dangerous position that can hurt your surgery arm. Because when you are asleep, you just sleep you don't know where you move in your arm you're just trying to get comfortable and sometimes you might can find that comfortable spot and it might not be safe to lay on that you should never put pressure on your surgery arm as you sleep because that compression can cause pain and it can cause swelling and it can wake you up and now you did not get any rest before you go to bed is to take your medication because that will help you with the pain throughout the night. Make sure to wear loose fitting clothes, big dresses, big shirts, even down to the pants. Pants that have elastic in the waist would be your friend. You do not want to be fumbling with trying to unbutton and zip and all of that. Just put on something comfortable because that's what it's all about. Stretchy leggings for the ladies, jogging sweatpants for the men. As far as shoes, flip-flops, slip-on shoes, shoes with Velcro, and for the ladies, bras are too hard to work with. So make sure you buy yourself some tank tops or a camisole that has a built-in bra. Bras that can have a little stretch and pull to them. You can also just wear these under your clothes. Remember, pain and swelling are the worst on days one, two, three after surgery. The pain will ease in about one or two weeks. I'm now on week three. Today is day 20 for me. You are gonna experience some itching. And for some reason, it's gonna be like right here or somewhere on this side of your body that you always use your surgical arms to scratch you will not be able to reach it that you will not make sure to get a back scratcher a back scratcher can get to places where your surgical arm cannot reach at this time make sure to wear your mobilizer or sling as the doctor ordered make sure to attend your physical therapy sessions no lifting no pulling no nothing don't do anything that will cause any kind of strain to that shoulder you do not want a retear. Do not put your shoulder in any kind of crazy positions. Do not make any sudden movements because this is going to delay your healing process. The one main tip that I will leave you with today is this one. Don't rush recovery. Hang in there. You can do this. We can do this together. Please click the subscribe button, like, and comment. Thank you.
Deuces. Now I will demonstrate how I get ready for bed. It is not easy to sleep in your bed. Most of the time, I do not sleep in this bed because it's too difficult. But first, I have to get up on my bed. It's kind of how I say I have a stool here to get up on my bed. Surrounded. I am surrounded by pillows, which pillows, they become your best friend when you are trying to rest at night. So I place a pillow under the sling to give it support. I place a pillow behind my head to give my head and neck support. Basically, I usually have a throw blanket and I just place it over me and I usually just hold on to my hand, keep my arm just at this level and I rest and I go to sleep. Or I watch television and I relax. And this is my sleeping position for bed. As you can see, I have a recliner in my bedroom. If I choose to sleep in my bedroom, this is where I will most likely sleep. So the best thing I do, I grab the blanket. And a pillow. And I will take the pillow and I will place it under my sling and I will make sure I feel comfortable. Now I have made it in my living room. When I sleep in my living room, I sleep on this couch. So I just remove the pillow and I lay down and I do have a blanket. And as you can see, most of the time I have everything. The reason why I do like sleeping in here is because everything is to the left. So I don't have to do much. So basically, I just lay on back and I take one of these pillows and I put it under my arm to give it stability and I lay on down and I usually I have a neck pillow and I use my neck pillow and this is my position but I always hold my hand so I can keep it in place and I fall asleep this is my position in my living room When I remove my sling, I find it easier if I place my arm, my surgery arm, on either a table, chair, or even my lap. It's place my arm on an object that's a little taller, about waist, to your waist. I place my arm there, and I take it, I start just unsnapping. Take this apart, the Velcro straps. I take this one, bring it over my head, and then right here around my waist, I release that one. This one, I take my non-surgical hand and I lift up out of the sling very easily. And that is how I come out of my sling. I will demonstrate how I will put on my shirt or a dress by removing my robe. I would always, when I'm coming out of the clothes, I will always use my non-surgical hand first. And then I would low slowly do that. I now will demonstrate to put on a shirt. Make sure that you have a loose shirt, something big. You do not want to have a shirt that's too tight. So the first thing I do is take 
since it's my right arm, I find my right side, I first place my arm on a object. Make sure it's stable. I take my right arm sleeve and I pull it up. Pull it up, pull it up. Now that I have one arm in, I now take the opening of the head and I take it over my head. Take it over, then I find my other side, my left side, and I pull it through. Pull it through, and now I have on my shirt. Now that I have my arm completely out of the sling, I have a tip that I want to share with you. These are microfiber cloths. I brought both of these from the dollar store. One dollar. As you can see, micro. And this one here is a duster pad. Now, what I like about these, which I already have one open, but I wanted to keep the tag on so I can show you. So basically, you would take it and I place it inside my sling. Place it inside the sling. I hope you can see that. I place it inside the sling arm. This way, you can have your arm rest on soft fabric and it makes it feel really comfortable. But now, put it back down and put it on. And like I said, either one, this will work too. It's just as soft. Anything that you have soft laying around the house. But for now, this is what I'm using and it works perfectly. It feels really nice. So, since I know that my buckle my clip here is in the front uh, for my waist. The, it's right here with the curve, and that's where I like to have it. I, so now I find the waist strap, and I bring it around. With, hold that in place the best way you can, and you click it. Click it on. Now, I know it goes here because it goes on to the side. Now, I would take my non-surgical hand to help place my surgical hand inside the sling with this soft, soft pad. So at this time is when I would take the snap, the first one, and I would just go ahead and bring it up. Put my arm in, and I would take the strap, and I would put it in place. I would then take the next strap and put that on. Now, this is my shoulder strap. Shoulder strap. Now, I will click that into place, as you can see. Now, next, I would take my finger strap, this is what I'm calling a finger strap, and I would place that. This way, my arm would not slide down. It would stay positioned in place where I want it. And I must tell you guys, this pad feels really good to my arm, and it feels more secure, and it feels safe. That's for sure. And that is how I put on my sling. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment, and I will be sure to answer as soon as I can.